Hello loves, what's up babies? Listen to me, I've been requested to do a video like this and uh, you know, it's my absolute pleasure to convey to you messages of the heart. You know what I mean? Messages just sent in from high, feather of the blue jay. It's just so beautiful, isn't it? It's just so beautiful, isn't it? It's my absolute favorite one of these here. But listen, you know what? Here's what I need to tell you. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to lighten up the mood, whatever mood you're in. Even if you're jumping off the walls right now, I just, I just need for you to like be calm and loving with me in this moment right here. Because this is a moment. A moment we're going to remember. Like the blue jay remembers the feather. He lost whilst. Flying through the skies, searching for another blue jay, whose name was Janet. But she wouldn't be seen with the lots of him because her last name was Jackson. And she didn't play with the, the little blue jays. So it's alright because blue jay don't care. Keeps on living his life, he flies real high. And he lets, you know, things be what they're going to be. You know, he was an incredibly incredibly handsome blue jay anyway so it's not right you know to to not saw your wings you know what i mean saw your wings real high high in that sky that beautiful blue sky random neck pillow you get on an airplane you need one of these you just you absolutely need it you know what do you want to do without your custom Nick Pillow, I mean, do you just fly alone? What's it like? I know exactly what it's like. I forgot my neck pillow on my last flight. I forgot it. You know what I haven't forgotten is that beautiful smile right there and I couldn't wait to see it again. Listen, that's the reason I'm doing this video. You know what? I think maybe there are some people who just need to feel a little bit higher, elevated in the spirits, you know? They need a little bit of laughing. So, I come on here, you know, I tell my mate, I tell my mate Yashua, I said, let me get the mic for a little second, you know, let me talk to all of the lovely little babies out there and tell them that they are loved. Tell you, I'm here to tell you, you are loved and you are care after and there are people that absolutely love everything about you in this world, even the things that you don't like about yourself, you know. But for one thing I can tell you, don't look at me that way. I didn't say it yet, all right? <laughs> one thing I can say is that you're incredibly unique and that there's no one like you in this world. And that smile, that one right there. Yeah, that one, that one right there. It should never go away. What? Oh, really? I mean, for what purpose on earth could it ever eclipse the beauty, the magnificence of what you're radiating right now with just that smile. That's your gift to the world. Can't try it. Can't try it for what? For Looney Tunes? For cartoons for Fruit Loops? Skin tight jeans? Ice cream? Katy Perry songs? What? What could be worth it? Brisket on the tickle? Tickle on the pickle? What could be worth it? You know? Nothing. You've got to keep that smile. You've got to keep that smile, and then in, until you do, you're just gonna you're just gonna you know be kind of pressing buttons on the way through life. You know what I mean? Button clicker. Cut off the light. Cut the light back on. See what it does. It clicks the buttons and things change. These are like your emotions here. You know what I mean? You click on a button and something's gonna happen, right? But only if you allow it to happen, you know what I mean? Like, if I want this to happen, light off. It goes off. I want it to happen. It stays off. This is kind of the mood I would like to have you in right here, right now. Just with the lights off. Very kind. Nothing sexual, but maybe not sexual. We're grown-ups after all. But if not, it would just be comfortable with a light on and, you know, companionship flying through the skies. With our neck pillows and clickers. Neck pillows. Clickers. Clickers. 
pillows for you, Nick. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Listen here. All right, I've got to tell you something really important. Let me put this down. I want you to know... You see, I just put on um, my very tone voice here. I want you to know that for real, there are people that love you in this world and love things about you that you can't even explain to them. You can't explain it to anyone. It's just who you are. You're special. You have a sparkle that's in your eye. I see it as you're looking at me. You're looking at me. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. I'm looking at you, looking at me, looking at you. Are you looking at me, looking at you, looking at me, looking at you with the, you, how you were? Is, are you with me? Are you with me? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Because you're smart and you're intelligent and you're beautiful and you're wonderful and you're just all of these magnificent things that can't be beat by anything, you know what I mean? By anything out there. So all I've got to say, if anyone's got anything negative to say, is to just talk in an accent, eh? Because this seems to be doing the wonders for me right now. I quite love it. Do you love it? Do you wish I would talk to you in your ear like this and, and, and say very, very, very nice or like very not so nice, like, you know, kind of bad, you know, dirty things, maybe. Would you like that? <laughs> Is that something you would like? Would you like it if I told you that I can smell you from here and you smell wonderful, smelling quite enticing it's sweet your fragrance reminds me of your taste what what are you talking about what? who said that i don't know all i know is that when i see you i think of something like a graham cracker yeah i'll say graham cracker not so it's gonna break in half you know at you know my delectable convenience but it, it's going to be a refreshing treat for me once I dunk it in this here milk. <laughs> Random clicker, lights are back on. Even though the lights back on, does it mean that you get to get out of this comfortable situation that I just had you in, right? Come back over here, let me talk to you. Let me tell you that I would really, really like to just help you get rid of all that stress. I'd like to give you a rub down. I like to give you a massage. I like to rub it. I like to rub it real good. I like to rub it. I like to rub it real good. I like to. I like to. I like to. I like you. I like you. I like you. I love you. I love you. I don't plan these things. I swear to God, they just pop off in my brain. I can't help it. I can't help it. I like to take you to a river. Yes, to a river. Uh, to... A river made of wine is the thing, and it, it's it's a wine company that I'm going to own. You know, I have it here already. I'm gonna own it. We're gonna own it together. We're going to do big things with it, and a lot to create pool just for you and your beautiful, wonderful being just to get into that dead pool, right? Just so that you can pretend to be in a distressed situation. I can then come in the pool and save you from the distress situation. Can you see my vision here? Does it make sense? Can you picture me? Just fuck it. Fuck it. You know, just, you know, I'll just... <laughs> right in that dear water. And then I'll come to get you. I'll swim for you. Through that trudging red deliciousness. Right. And then I see you coming. You're, you're, you're close to me now. And I just suck you a little closer. I just. And you get closer. And then I go. Again. And you come closer. Even closer. You know. I'm a little bit fucked up by the time you get to me. But when you do get to me. All I do is I take you by the wrist. Right. I pull you in closer to me. I draw you in. Right. And pull you right up on my chest. I look you dead in your eyes, alive in your eyes. I like that better than dead in your eyes. I look you alive in your eyes and I say, I'm going to take you upstairs. I am going to punish you for being so bad. Didn't you see the sign on the pole? 
There's no diving in the pool. You take your ladle and your cup and you get exactly what you need out of that pool, out of that pool, but you don't dive in the pool. Because now I had to save you. And for that, you owe me your life. And you're going to have to repay me some kind of way. I don't do it for the money. I don't want any money from you. I don't want anything. I just want you to treat me really, really, really nice, you know. Be really, really kind to me, you know. So I'm going to take you upstairs here. And when I do, I'm going to strip your bikini off your bottom. I'm going to say, don't go back in that pool that way again. And you're going to say, what What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Yeah? That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought I had. That's what I thought I had. All right. Good. That's what I thought I had. That's what I thought I had. That's what I thought I had. I'm going to tell you after I hear that yes, daddy. And I'm going to hit you one more time. I'm going to spank. Just not, not, not even for discipline anymore. Well, maybe, but, you know, really the thing is, I just want to smack you on the ass. I just I just want to put my hand on the booty. Because after that, this time, I'm going to grip it and I hold it firm in my hand and not let it go. You know, it's not going to be pat, pat, just pat. And then I've got it. And I'm going to pull you closer to me again like I did in that pool. And... I'm going to say, we're sticky. We've got to get in the shower now. See, the situation you've created is that we have to be clean. We have to cleanse each other now. So it's time to go into the shower and make it happen. Are you ready? Yeah? Go then strip it down. I'll wait. I'll wait right here. You do your thing, love. Don't worry about me. I'll just be right on it. Making myself comfortable. <sighs> Making myself extremely comfortable. You look fantastic, by the way. Yeah. I said that to you. It's quite sexy, isn't it? Not quite sexy, this accent, but still quite very sexy. <laughs> is it a sexy vaccine? You think the accent is sexy? Because you're fucking on fire, love. I wanna, I wanna burn my tongue on that fire a little bit. You wanna come over here and let me burn just a little bit? Come on over here. Let me talk to you, love. Nice and deep like.